Hey everybody and welcome to the next installation for the project Build a Data Analysis Library from scratch in Python. In this video we're going to be downloading the material from the GitHub repository where it's located. So the URL where it's located is right here. It'll be in the description below. I've already navigated to it in my browser over here. So this repository, this page, uh, contains all of the instructions and all of the material that are necessary to complete the project. And in fact, the previous videos have already covered some of the material uh, on this page. And But all we're going to do in this video is simply download the material so that we have a copy of it on our local machine. So if you're familiar with Git, you have Git installed, you can go ahead and clone it. I'm not going to assume that you do. Instead, we're just going to download it uh, onto your machine. So if you click this green button on the right-hand side of the page, you'll uh, have a box that says Download Zip that will appear. So go ahead and just download the zip. And it should download pretty quickly because it's, uh, there's, there's not a whole lot of... Uh, the, the file sizes are, are not very large whatsoever. Um, it's a small library. So uh, it's going to go ahead and uh, it's gone into my downloads folder. So it's going to attach the word master, which is the master branch to it. So you don't have to worry about that. But it'll, the full name will be pandas cub master dot zip. Go ahead and unzip this. So, uh, and when you unzip it, you'll see the contents of the entire repository or right here. Uh, you can open up this uh, PDF of the README, and this is basically just the full instructions on, uh, on that, are, that are found on that, uh, the GitHub repository homepage. So, um, yes, so you can actually have the instructions out as a PDF and not have to refer to them uh, on, online. Okay, so once you have the contents of the repository unzipped, you know, you probably should move this out of the downloads folder. I'm simply just going to put this into the documents folder right here. Okay, so that's all I wanted to cover in this short video.